Excuse me, but you're not Evan. True. Where's Evan? Elsewhere. So you don't know? True. Oh, good. You met Joaquin. Proper introductions were not made. What's he doing here? Uh, he's helping me write an algorithm so uh, we can beat the stock market. Why? Uh, well, so we can get rich, buy cool cars, and get girls. But mostly the girls. Isn't the search for knowledge its own reward? Uh, yeah, sure, if the knowledge helps you get girls. That seems like a lot of unnecessary effort just to meet females. We've tried talking to them. Actual disaster. You want to help us? I don't need to meet girls. In fact, I'd like to know fewer people, not more. You could use the money to buy yourself something fun. Ooh, like a particle accelerator? Or a hundred tanks of liquid nitrogen? I was thinking of a hot tub, but okay. I can't get you to take a shower and, and you want a hot tub? Girls like hot tubs. How much would it cost to build a particle accelerator? Conservatively four to ten billion dollars. Then you need to help us. Hmm. Well, I haven't done much coding, but I am good at everything. Okay, I'm in charge. It's cute. What's that A sub one variable? It's undefined. It's defined in the previous subroutine. Oh my, that is elegant. Uh, we don't use the word elegant. Why, what's wrong with it? Last semester I invited a girl to my room to look at my elegant coding and she called the police. Understood. So what happens next? Uh, we just buy the stocks the algorithm suggests. With what? Our student loan money. How much you in for? Oh, my mother's always warned me against the evils of gambling. Well, it's not gambling. It's math. Is your mother against math? Well, when you use it to prove the Earth wasn't made in seven days, she gets a little touchy. It's your call. Particle accelerator or no particle accelerator? Let me fetch my money sock. You keep your money in a sock? My Mima keeps her money in her bra. Does she like hot tubs? <laughs> we may have a problem. Uh, what's wrong? The program's running really slow. We're losing money. Well, what's happening? It was fine this morning. I don't know if this is related, but I did add a new subroutine. To do what? To resolve the inconsistencies between general relativity and quantum mechanics. Why would you do that? Because our algorithm is so smart and it's the biggest unanswered question in the universe. But it's messing with the computer. We're losing money. What about my car? What about girls? Rest assured, you solve general relativity, the girls will be lined up around the block to kiss you. Someone's having a party and we weren't invited. Make it stop! I'm trying, it doesn't want to. I think it finds a question too interesting. <sighs> but it's messing with the computer. We're losing everything. I don't know what else to do. You could have just unplugged it. Or at least opened the window. I showered for nothing. What's up guys, welcome to my channel Red Chit. Today we are gonna discuss how Young Sheldon Season 7 Episode 5 clip proves how much Georgie has grown up. Missy reaches out to her brother in a scene from Young Sheldon Season 7, Episode 5, and Georgie's response demonstrates how much he has matured. Sheldon's siblings are back home in Medford, Texas, working on their individual stories, while he attends East Texas Tech to cope with his own arc. Georgie and Missy's interactions have increased since they are back under one roof as a result of the tornado in the Young Sheldon Season 6 finale. Though the Big Bang Theory prequel will conclude in May, Georgie, Mandy, and baby Cece will remain at the focus of a future sequel series that will carry on the Cooper family's Texas tale. The new project, which is scheduled to debut in the 2024-2025 TV season, will employ a multi-camera storytelling approach similar to the nerd-focused sitcom. But without Missy, Georgie's Young Sheldon spin-off is less interesting. The siblings get along well, as this new video shows. As Sheldon departs for Pasadena, more of them may collaborate on the upcoming project. Missy and Mary ought to be a part of Georgie's spin-off, 
according to the canon of the Big Bang Theory. In Young Sheldon Season 7, it will be revealed that the oldest Cooper child assumed parental duties following George's passing. That's challenging to accomplish if they don't communicate frequently. In addition to maintaining canon, introducing Missy has advantages of its own. She is, to begin with, one of the prequel's most well-liked characters. With so much about her destiny left unseen from the Big Bang Theory, Georgie and Mandy's new show can be more imaginative in determining what lies ahead for her. Reagan Rivord claimed that she was not invited to reprise her role as Missy in Georgie's new program, but she withheld the reason. Although it is regrettable that she will not be appearing in the Young Sheldon sequel series, she is still able to make a cameo appearance. Considering how wonderful Georgie and Missy are together, maybe CBS will reconsider and choose to hire Rivord for an expansion of the Big Bang Theory. That's it guys for this video, please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to get instant notification. Thanks for watching.